I've been playing baseball or softball most of my life, and I love the sport. And so this mystery science was really fun for me to watch. Hi everybody, it's me, Mrs. Lachman from Boston School Forest. And you know what? I started researching animals that could throw. And there aren't any animals that can throw like humans. Humans are really the best throwing animal on the planet. But there are some really fast animals. Let's check out how fast some animals can move. We have a lot of wild turkey that live here at Boston School Forest, and no one ever thinks about turkeys as being fast. But turkeys have very long legs and three grippy toes and a, and a large thigh muscle that helps them to run 25 miles per hour. And that's their first defense against predators. They run away. We also have a whole lot of deer here at Boston School Forest. Deer also have long legs and a split toe that gives them a lot of traction when running through the forest. They also have very strong hindquarters that help them to run and leap. Deer can run 30 to 35 miles per hour and in one leap can cover 30 feet. I saw this deer at the end of my driveway and I thought, great, we'll be able to see the deer run. And then this happened. Deer, run away. Please, I need a, I need a video of a deer running. Please run away. Now I bet when you think of speed, you don't think about chipmunks because chipmunks don't really run. They kind of scamper, but for short bursts, they can run up to 21 miles per hour, which is almost as fast as a turkey with those long legs. But chipmunks have very short legs and grippy paws, and they have a super high metabolism, which means that they can move around pretty quickly. And they can do that for a short burst at a time, to find food or to escape from a predator. Animals that live in the water don't move as fast as animals that can live on land. But our fish at Boston School Forest can swim pretty fast. We have two types, largemouth bass, and bluegills. And no, there's no fishing allowed at the school forest. Well, fish speed is measured in, yes, miles per hour, but it's also measured in length per second. See, smaller fish don't swim as fast as larger fish do. Fish have pretty amazing muscles. Their caudal fin is their tail fin, and that helps to propel them forward. But they also contract their muscles on one side while relaxing on the other side, and this flexes their bodies back and forth. It creates a wave throughout their muscles that travels from their head down towards their tail and propels them through the water. Fish like a largemouth bass that's maybe 20 inches long can even swim up to 12 miles per hour in short spurts. Bluegills can even swim up to 12 miles per hour. Animals that can fly tend to move faster than animals that swim or have to stay on the ground. This red-tailed hawk has a whole bunch of different speeds it can fly. When it soars, it spreads its wingtips wide and expands its primary feathers, and it can soar on thermals that take it really high in the sky and can fly as slow as 10 miles an hour or as fast as 60 miles per hour. But then when it sees that mouse eating down in the grass, it changes its body shape into a dive and it can plummet down to earth at 150 miles per hour and grab that mouse or that prey animal with its sharp talons. Even birds that are considered slow flyers like this northern flicker can still easily reach speeds up to 20 miles an hour. So even though most animals can't throw a baseball or a softball, they sure can move pretty fast and have unique ways of doing so. Well, that's all for this week. Have a great day.